G'day guys, Greg here. Now I get a lot of people asking me the difference between invasive and non-invasive bamboo. So I'm going to show you the difference today. Now the owner of this property tells me that this bamboo is about 40 years old. So in the 40 years it's only spread, I don't know, that's probably about 10 to 15 meters in that direction. And it's probably only about 5 meters wide in that direction. So after 40 years of growth, it really hasn't grown that much. I just love some of these patterns on bamboo. Nature's artwork is just so beautiful. Okay, so now you've seen that, I'm going to show you some invasive bamboo. Here is some invasive bamboo. Now this stuff just grows willy-nilly where it wants. This bamboo here gets cut right back about five meters every year and it just keeps creeping up to the road so there's no stopping it and it will creep for for hundreds of meters everywhere in every direction this stuff is a real nuisance and it's almost impossible to contain I can guarantee if you grow some of this in your yard your neighbors are going to hate you isn't that right birdie now here is some bamboo that was planted probably three years ago and it hasn't really spread too much at all and hopefully it won't because it's planted right next to the house but you can build borders uh, you'd have to dig down pretty deep and line it with concrete or something so the bamboo doesn't uh, go underneath it uh, to stop it from spreading but uh, it's all about choosing the right bamboo in putting it in the right position I guess but uh, yeah so there's some more bamboo and it's a non-invasive variety well there you go I hope that answers some of your questions about invasive and non-invasive bamboo it all boils down to getting the right bamboo for the right position so choose wisely right yeah well thanks for watching and I'll see you next time is your rosy mate in the garden He's great the garden now